Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. Have you ever had to type the same email over and over again? Well, if you've used email for longer than four minutes, the answer is probably yes, right? So I'm gonna show you uh, this quick tip within Microsoft Outlook on how to have an email repeat and repeat and repeat. Um, and so really we're gonna create what's called an email template. So this is assuming when you have Microsoft Outlook and we're gonna do an example starting right now. So I'm gonna go in and do new email, click it from the top there. And then of course have my sender and my subject, but let's skip that and let's go down to the body of the email where we're gonna you know, type in what we want to say. So let's say I want to say the same message to this person as I've said to a few other people in the last little while, I can actually use templates. And so I have some templates stored already. I'm gonna show you what they look like and then we're gonna create one from scratch and then we'll also even edit one and delete one. So let's start by um, showing you what they look like. So if I'm clicked in the body of my email here, I'm just gonna to go to view templates. So that's just a button on the top of my toolbar within Outlook. And by the way, I'm using Outlook 365, so that'll be another thing you need to, need to keep in mind. Okay, so book Facebook Live with me. So that's a template that I've used before. So if I just click on that, it fills my email in with all that information. And of course I can fix or edit whatever I want in that email. So that's a quick way to make an email message to somebody, maybe make one or two changes and hit send. A lot, of less, lot less typing than normally, right? So let's do another example here. So um, this time I'm going to actually make a new template. So let's do that one. So if I go to view templates, okay, so I'm viewing my templates and I'm just gonna scroll to the very bottom Yours may not be that long. You may not have anything to scroll to because you're brand new. And you can hit the plus sign for a template and you can make a brand new template. So I can call that that my um, thank, thank you for Zoom meeting. So all of us are on Zoom meetings these days. Huh. Right. La, 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 la. So I can have as many messages as I want. I could have copied and pasted something I already had typed into this box. They're really, I don't know what the limit is. I don't, I think, you know, it can be quite long. I know I have some email messages that are quite long and I've made a template out of them. So um, it's definitely bigger than the box. Let's put it that way. All right, so I'm gonna hit save. And now if I scroll down, it says, thank you for Zoom. So if I click on that, it types that in for me there. All right, so that's adding, uh, creating a new template from scratch. Now let's do one last thing, and that's how to delete a template if you no longer need it. So I made this test one earlier. Uh, I don't need this template anymore. So I'm just gonna hit the garbage can right beside that template name, and that template is gone. Okay, so that's your shortcut for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please give a like uh, if, you're, if you're liking this video, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.